Hello, this video is about the free WordPress plugin, Widget Importer and Exporter. If you don't know what widgets are, widgets are these things down the side here on the right. This is the widget sidebar. But actually all of this front page of this particular website is widgetized. Uh, the mobile phone number, the the all of this here, these are all widgets, text widgets mostly. These are all text widgets as well. And um, this this plugin really comes into its own if you're wanting to export these widgets into another website. So you can actually export to a what you call a .wie file, and then you can import that into another WordPress website, and it will fetch the HTML contained in these uh, these widgets. So let me just go to the widgets. And then I'll activate the plugin and I'll show you how it's done. So at the moment, if I click primary sidebar, you've got meet Stephen and the team. We are registered with Fair Trades, etc., etc. This is a website that I built for a client. And as you can see, meet Stephen and the team. We are registered with Fair Trades, da da da, blah blah blah. Well, if I change theme, the chances are those widgets will be wiped out, which is a bit of a nuisance. So let's go ahead and demonstrate what happens when I do change themes. So let's go to themes and let's now at the minute I'm using uh, a theme called Metro Pro by Genesis running on the Studio Press Genesis framework. So if I just temporarily activate the Genesis parent theme this will swap the feet the theme over and yeah, just as I expected, it wiped out the widgets, which is annoying because if you're a developer and say you create basic themes, you might want to resell these themes or, you know, or if you're a consultant, you might want to reuse a basic, you know, theme and just modify it for different clients. So let's just go back to the original theme and let's refresh and it's all back lovely okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to activate this plugin I've already installed it but I've deactivated it temporarily so let me go to plugins and let me find it and reactivate it there it is widget importer and exporter this was last updated. I'm I'm recording this video in 2015, 13th of July. Last time I checked, that plugin was updated around April time. But it's not the kind of plugin that you'd have running in the background all the time. You'd only use it when you need to Im import or export plugins. So I do recommend that you deactivate it if you're not using it all the time. So that's been reactivated. And now if you go to Tools on the left here, you'll see that Widget Importer and Exporter has been added so I'm going to say export widgets and it will ask me to save a WIE file this contains the widget data so I'll say yep save it's asking me to replace the one that I created earlier so that's fine so we've created that now now I'm going to deliberately break this theme and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to change the name of the the child theme folder name I would want to change that to something unique like their name their, their name or business name so let me go back in here and let me let me switch temporarily back to the Genesis parent theme because I'm going to change this folder name so let's call it your business for example and then I'll open that I just need to change style and functions which is what you have to do when you change the name of a child theme folder save that that's that's all done uh, example that needs to change as well your business So change that and then we'll go back to so that's changed refresh ha there we go so 
I've changed the name of that child theme, which is a very reasonable th thing for a developer or designer to want to do. But in the process of doing that, it's broken the widgets. It's wrecked it. It's all gone. Very annoying. But because of that export that we made a few moments ago, we can now import those widgets back in and it should all be restored back to how it was before. So let's go to Tools, Widget Importer and Exporter, Browse, and there it is. Import Widgets. So that's all been imported, that's all fine. Let's press refresh. That's great. That's very useful. That's a very useful plugin. I really do recommend it. Widget importer and exporter. If you're not using it, deactivate it. Only activate it when you need to use it. But great plugin. I do recommend you use it. You can thank me later. And thanks for watching. Bye.